thought for the day. Trust the seeds you are planting. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we are implementing a few tips and tricks to break free from limiting beliefs and habits. Have a listen. Now, imagine your current state, all right? There's uh, wherever you are, and maybe it's your current state of health, maybe it's your current state of your finances, current state of a relationship, current state of your learning. It could be your reading speed, it could be your memory, your focus, but you have a desired reality. Now, what are the three things, what are the keys to get from here to there? Because when I talk about evolution, and some people make like New Year's resolutions, I'd rather you make an everyday personal evolution. The cons- thing about evolution is the consistent growth, right? Consistent, because little by little, a little becomes a lot. Where we've talked about this when James Clear was on our podcast that if, who wrote Atomic Habits in a wonderful book, that if you just improve 1% a day, right, compounded by 365 days, what's 1.01, that's 1%, times 1.01 to the 365 power, you will improve actually a magnitude of 37 times, over 37 times, 3,700%, just improving 1% every single day. So that's that's your personal evolution. So my approach is, think about your current state. If I'm coaching you right now, all right, consider this your personal coaching session, and you want to get to a desired reality, and you, you, it's not about just setting goals, it's about getting that goal. What's in between? I'll tell you there are three things, right? And you know it if you've read my book, Limitless. The three M's you need to unlock, unleash, unlimit your methods, your motivation, and your mindset. All right. And start with the mindset first. It goes from your mindset to your motivation to your methods. Those are what you can control. You always control the controllables. You can't control the economy. You can't control what's going on outside of your world, but you can control your inner world. You can always control your mindset, your motivation, and the methods you're going to use. Think about it this way. Your mindset, I'm pointing to my head, if you're not watching this on, on YouTube. Your motivation, I'm pointing to my heart. And what? The methods, I'm pointing to my head, hands. Head, heart, hands. Mindset, motivation, methods. Those are the three things you could always control. So imagine this. If you feel like you're not evolving, you're not making consistent growth, you feel like you're stuck in a box, that box, think about it, an area of your life where you feel like you're stuck, you're not making progress, you're not advancing. That box, by definition, is three-dimensional. The three forces that keep you in that box are the same three forces that will liberate you out of that box, and they are your mindset, your motivation, and the methods you're using, your methodology. So let's let's go into this. I want you to download this PDF. So on this worksheet, you see three intersecting circles, and on the top, you have your goal. You have your goal. So I want you to write your goal down there. And you could use it whatever it happens to be. I want to read a, a book a week. Your goal could be, hey, I want to exercise 30 minutes a day, right? Whatever it happens to be, put it up on the goal section. And the three things that you could control, right? You control the controllables is your mindset, your motivation, and the method you're using to reach that goal, right? So that's your target. Now, let's talk about your mindset. Your mindset are the set of assumptions and attitudes about that thing. Your attitudes, assumptions, let's say your attitudes, assumptions about reading, your attitudes, assumptions about books, your attitudes, assumptions about how smart you are, your attitudes and assumptions about your own focus, your own capabilities, right? That's your attitudes, assumptions about learning, right? Because here's the thing, you can learn a great method on how to read faster. And many of you have gone through our quick reading program, 15 minutes a day, you've tripled your reading speed, you have better comprehension, much better focus, much better retention. But if your mindset is, I'm not smart enough, reading is not important, right? Then you're still stuck in that box. So just remember that. So first thing we need to do is address our mindset, the set of assumptions and attitudes we have about our goal and the set of assumptions and attitudes we have about what? Ourselves, right? Three things that would fall under this category, what I believe is possible. 
you could have a great technique on how to read faster as an example, and the example I'm using here, because I want you to read a book a week. I want everyone in our community to read a book a week. Most people read two or three books a year. If you could read a book a week, 52 books a year, that's, that's a game changer. If you want to personally evolve, reading is the best way to upgrade your brain. Reading is to your mind what exercises your body. If somebody has decades of experience and they put it in, into a book, and you could read that book in a few days, you could download decades into days. That is the path to evolution, right? All you know, great minds, they're great readers, all right? But you could grab a great methodology, but if your mindset is, I'm not smart enough, I'm not capable of it, I don't deserve it, then you're still gonna be stuck in that box. So on this worksheet, what I want you to do here is we have some lines next to mindset. And what you wanna do is write your current mindset there right now. Like when you quiet, when you look at your goal, what ideas come up? What thoughts come up? And write those down. And then what I want you to do in that section is what is the truth? Because what you've just written down are lies. A lie stands for what? A limited idea entertained. Remember, all behavior is belief-driven. All behavior is belief-driven. If you think you can or think you can, either way you're right, right? Henry Ford said that. And so if you're stuck, maybe it's because it's your thoughts or your beliefs. So write down your lies, limited ideas entertained. I'm not smart enough. I can't do this, whatever it happens to be. And then write the opposite. Just write below it the opposite. What is the opposite of that? I, I'm, I'm not a great reader. Maybe you're adding yet, right? What would you choose to believe? Now that's your mindset. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.